Now you should know what is the difference between errors and the measurement uncertainty. But before that, you should know what are the errors. As you know that quality of data refers to the accuracy of results. If you want to say that these results are highly accurate, that means quality of these results is very high. And also accuracy inverse to errors. The highest the errors, the lowest the accuracy. The highest the accuracy, the lowest the errors. So errors are the difference between true and measured value or bias from the true value. As example, if you spike the sample with 10 microgram per kilogram and you got result 7 microgram per kilogram. So there are some errors deviate the true value from 10 to 7. And errors are divided into systematic and random errors. Systematic errors will be always in the same direction, systematic or constant, either positive or negative, either high or low. As example, if you have matrix effect, effect of matrix on your target analyte, that effect will be by enhancement or suppression by increasing the concentration of the analyte all the time or decreasing the concentration of analyte all the time so it will be constant either high or low can be identified you can know this error and can be eliminated or if you cannot eliminate these errors apply to the result as a correction as explained before in the matrix effect in the matrix effect the effect of matrix on target analyte you know that error if you cannot eliminate that error you can find correction you will have a sample as i explained before in the method validation have a sample this sample will be used to study the effect of matrix on target analyte and you will get a correction factor this correction factor will be multiplied to all result to get the real concentration of the analyte in the matrix but random errors not will not be in the same direction it will be changing all the time not like systematic if uh, errors will be constant it will not be constant but cannot be eliminated also or controlled because it can come from the environment as temperature or moisture or from uh, noises on the instrument response or variation even in the time of drying of the matrix or boiling time also or sample handling or even if you didn't make homogeneous well to the sample all of these can affect on the result of measurement but cannot be eliminated or controlled just you can only their effect can be assessed how you can assess their effect you have a spike sample with every sequence and you will calculate the recovery for this spike sample this recovery should be within acceptance range according to the guideline used as i explained before but if you didn't accept and if you didn't get the acceptance range you have to repeat the analysis again so how to assess the random errors you have to repeat the analysis again after that if you got acceptance range that means there were errors but you don't know that there were random errors so now you can know the difference between errors and measurement uncertainty as i said errors will bias the true value will affect on the accuracy of the measurement so it so should be removed or should be eliminated or reduced and if you cannot eliminate them completely you should assess them to be able to control to get the accuracy within the acceptable range as example if you spike the sample with 10 microgram per kilogram and you got 5 microgram per kilogram so your recovery is 50 percentage and that will never be accepted so you should remove the errors to get high accuracy for the measurement but measurement uncertainty as i explained before is a value added not removed added to the final result to compensate all effects during the measurement from sampling up to getting the result so this value should be added not removed as 
errors when do errors and uncertainties come from as i explained before from the measuring an instrument imported uncertainties also from other equipments used during the sample preparation such as ph or balance or standards used and that will be also from the calibration certificates you can get from the calibration certificates the uncertainty measurement process during the sample preparation or extraction steps items being the major measured also the analyte being measured from the matrix and the even matrix itself also can affect operator skill or the analyst competency environmental conditions and also sampling issues such as sample handling uh, homogenization of the sample and environmental conditions such as temperature or moisture or other environmental conditions.